I can assist you or tutor you more. If you have more questions, just email me. All right, question 94 here. Determine the mass of moment inertia IY of the solid form by revolving a shaded area around the y-axis. The total mass of the solid is 1,500 kilograms. All right, this is a relatively challenging uh, question. Uh, we're gonna go along as we uh, go along. I will try to explain each of my steps because it, it's not really memorizing a formula anymore. It's just like basic understanding of how graphs, algebra, and calculus works, right? You're kind of like making up your own mind as you go along. So uh, first, we have to find out what density is, right? It only give us the uh, kilograms. So what is density? Density is the mass times a uh, density times the volume give us the mass, right? And density over here is a constant, so that is the thing we're trying to find here because everything else is uh, determined by a formula. And dm has already been uh, determined. All right, so what is dv? All right, dv is the volume of this shape. So how do I find that, right? Well, if you look closely, um, it's actually dy, for example, like one little square over here, right? dy, it goes around a circle, right? By uh, two pi radius. So it's uh, pi times r squared, okay? Pi times r squared. And um, that is the area. That is the area of one a shape, one like plate over here, right? And there are d, uh, d wide of them, right? There are this many times one thin plate. So this gives you the area times the dy. Uh, the, that gives you dv and time density. This gives you uh, dm. All right. And what is r? Well, r is depended on this um, equation over here, right, which has been given. So we can just plug that in. Uh, equals to, well, we can simplify while we're doing that. So that equals uh, this over here. Because r equals z, r squared equals z squared equals the equation. Right, that was good. OK, and now there's dy, there's p, and there's dm. Okay, perfect. So to find dm, we have to take the integral of dm. So m equals dm, right? That equals, so from here to here, and that is from 0 to 4, right? Because that's how many dy we have. So 0 to 4, and this whole uh, big thing, which, big chunk of equation we just wrote down, dy, and um, this thing is a constant, so we can move that out of the equation. Deal with that later. There's dy times, uh, sorry, dy3. So a little bit of a head over there. Right, d3 and times dy. Sorry, uh, y to the power of 3 times dy. And do the integral. Uh, that would be four, y to the power of 4 over 4, uh, from 4 to 0. This is good. And... Um, yeah, so much of the power, uh, four to the power of four to four to the power of three, four to the power of one, right? So four to the power of one times pi equals uh, times density, sorry, and times pi. And remember, we're finding m over here, and m is already given over here, right? Well, one thousand five hundred kilograms. So we'll plug that in real quick and um, do some simple calculations and 375 kilograms per pi that give us the density right that is the density over here all right perfect now uh this is an exact like number here right pi just 1.3.1415 uh, so let's continue um now we have to find the moment of inertia, right? Moment of inertia. 
and for this of uh, around the y-axis is the um, so a D DIY right DIY equals uh, one I mean a half times the mass uh, times R square and this is just like you memorize like there's formula sheet I hope your professor gave this to you right this is I mean yeah and so what what is M we already figured out what M is M is uh, this big chunk over here right is um, times P times that times that and this whole thing times R square and times dy okay and we can sim simple fly to to the power of four dm dy right and um, we can continue uh, simplify here uh, what is r right we have to plug uh, this thing back in here so Look, r is r squared equals this, right? And this is r fourth. So we're just gonna do uh, this number square, okay? So that would be half times density times pi uh, times one over sixteen times sixteen, two hundred fifty-six, two hundred and fifty-six, and um, y to the power of six. Okay, simplify uh, one to the power of twelve. I mean. 1 over 512 times p times pi and y to the power of 6 and dy. So remember this is a d uh, inertia of y uh, inertia and moment inertia in the x-axis where we have to take the integral of this take the integral of this gives you the real moment inertia so we have to take the integral of p uh, this y to the power of 6 and this is again from 0 to 4 right that is what the y value is all about so let's see all right move this out of the equation uh, p pi over all of this stuff uh, y to the power of 6 so we're we're just gonna continue over here right so um, that would be y to the power of 7 over 7, uh, 4, 0, and uh, all this stuff over here. Okay? So 4 pi, da da da, uh, 4 to the power of 7 over 7 over here, right? Look at density. We already found density. What is that? A equals to this. So we can plug that in there. Uh, 375 times pi over pi times this so this cancels out and times 4 to the power of 7 uh, over 7 right and I believe you can this there's four fours in here so it's 375 times 4 to the power of 3 and this is I think it's just 2 and over 7 I don't know put this into a calculator uh, in the end you should get well 1714.286 and around that into three digits that would be 1.714 uh, uh, sorry 7 1.71 uh, millimeters for oh then times 10 to the power of 3 meters not millimeters sorry and here we go so this is how we do this question over here um, I know there's a lot of substitutions and, and calculus well calculus part wasn't uh, was pretty easy it's mostly about understanding and, and substitute and trying to simplify it but um, yeah, it really requires you to understand physics and geometry really good, right? You have to come up with the equation, okay, dm equals density e times dv, right? With practice, if you do some other pract um, practice problem down the road, uh, you should be pretty familiar with these. But um, yeah, hopefully this question was helpful. Um, good luck on your studies, and I will see you in my future videos. Bye. If you have more questions, 
uh, specific questions you would like me to do, please comment in the comment section down below.